everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I style and curl my kind of shorter lob length inspired haircut. Now, I've had a few people asking me how I style and curl it because obviously short hair can be a little bit more difficult and I've recently had a bit chopped off and it's been coloured, so well highlighted, so it's way, way lighter. And shout out to my sister because this, all her. <laughs> Now I know my hair is not like the shortest hair in the world, I've actually had shorter hair than this. I love short hair, I keep going back to it and I kind of want to cut it off even more. We'll see. This is literally just like my blow dried hair and it's looking crazy and frizzy. So if you want to see what I do with this, then keep watching. Okay, so hairstyle number one is the double dutch braid that's been going around at the moment. I love this hairstyle. Once you know how to do it, it's way easier than you think. So all that you do is part your hair right down the middle and section off one side. And to begin with, you just want to take a section of hair at the front and divide that into three strands, just like a normal braid. But what you want to do, instead of taking the pieces of hair over the top of each other, just like I'm showing you here, you actually want to take them underneath, and that will just sort of create the more sticky out braid, if you know what I mean, as opposed to it kind of being flat. And I just take them underneath each other about three times, just to start the braid off. And now this is where you want to kind of start adding hair. So what you do is you take the outer strand of hair and you want to basically just add some hair to it. So I kind of scoop some up with my thumb and once that's done you want to take that strand and take it underneath the middle and then that will become the middle one. If that makes sense, try and you know just see what I'm doing because it's difficult for me to explain. But then all you do is just take the other side of hair and do exactly the same thing so you know scoop some hair up take it underneath it's all really just a case of sort of alternating sides and adding hair and taking it underneath if you are struggling to do this though one thing i will say is try doing it without a mirror i know that sounds so weird um but i feel like when you look in a mirror you're thinking about it too much and there's bits of strands everywhere which then gets you you know confused so try it without one i didn't use one in this video so it is possible to do and it makes things 10 times easier so give that a go if you are struggling and then once i get to the end of um braiding the side all i do is i tie off with a hairband i know this doesn't look too good i would use a little clear elastic if i had one but i don't so we're just working with what we've got And then I just go ahead and I repeat the exact same thing on the other side. And then once all the braiding's done, I just go in and kind of pull out the braids a little bit, make everything loose and messy. That's just personally how I like my hair to be. You'll see in all of these styles that my hair is messy and undone. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm just going to take some hairspray just to hold everything in place. And there you have two Dutch braids. Okay, so hairstyle number two is the beachy waves. I've had a few people asking me how I do this, and it's really, really easy. So all I do is follow the arch of my brow back, pretty much, um, and this sort of takes up half of my hair. And I'm gonna be curling my hair today using a one inch curling wand. I go between this and straighteners. Straighteners do give me more of a tighter curl, so obviously I'm not gonna be using that today, but if you do wanna see how I curl my hair with straighteners, let me know. I do have a picture on my Instagram, which was the first picture I posted with my new hair, um, if you want an idea of what that looks like. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of hair like this and wrap it around the curling wand, making sure that it's flat. And I hold it for about four to six seconds, not long at all. And if you can see, I've actually left a little bit of hair at the end out, just so that's straight. And then I kind of tug on the hair for a couple of seconds while it's cooling. And this basically creates a loose wave, you know, by tugging on it and leaving some hair out, it actually creates more of a wave as opposed to a round curl, which is what we want. Um, and as you can see with this one, I'm actually going to be taking it towards my face. I just alternate the curls, you know, some are going to go away from my face, some are going to go towards, just to stop the curls sticking together, and it just is 
how I prefer my hair to look. I'm not an expert, don't really know what I'm doing to be completely honest with you, but I'm just showing you guys what I would do if I want loose beachy waves. Um, so yeah, I just continue this all the way around my head. And then once I've curled all my hair and I've let it cool down for a couple of seconds, I'm just going to go through, shake through my hair, run my fingers through it and then spray a little bit of hairspray in and you, this is it, this is literally it you guys, that is how I create beachy waves in my hair. Now the third hairstyle is the half up ponytail and I'm just starting with the waves that I've just created, um, they take literally like 10 minutes so it's not long at all and I just sort of follow the arch of my eyebrow back to find the you know the chunk of hair that I want to tie up and once I've got everything in place I'm just going to tie that off now what I do is I actually grab the kind of top layer of hair at the ponytail on either side and I kind of pull upwards and forwards and what this does is it just instantly creates like a poof at the front of your head so that it's kind of there's more volume instantly rather than having to keep tugging at things and then I just sort of tease underneath of my ponytail, just add more volume, and that is pretty much it. Oh, I do smooth down kind of like my baby hairs because my baby hairs are crazy. So I just smooth them down and add some hairspray in and then that's it. So the next hairstyle is the half up bun and you literally start it exactly the same way that you do the ponytail so just section off a little bit at the top but what you want to do is you want to start wrapping the hair round into kind of like a little top knot style bun I guess and then once you've got that done you just want to you know tie it off with a hairband and this is now down to you you know all I do is I just keep kind of pulling bits of hair out tugging bits in shaping the bun exactly how I want it to be and then that's it, it's done. You know, it does take a little bit just to sort of, you know, shape it how you want it, but once you've done it, it looks good, so. <laughs> And now this is one of my absolute favourites, this is the messy bun and what I do is I just you know, gather my hair as if I was to put it in a ponytail and it's just a classic bun, literally all you do is tie your hair band around a few times but on the last one you just want to pull your hair halfway through. And then what you want to do is just start kind of like expanding the bun on each side and pulling out the front of your hair. You kind of have to keep going back and forth between pulling out the front of your hair and pulling out the back because once you pull out the front, you know, the bun gets tighter. So just keep going back and forth and I just start, you know, pulling little bits of hair out. I pull bits of hair out um, at the sides to frame my face and I just make it as messy as I want it to be pretty much. This is one of my favourite hairstyles because if you have like two or three day old hair or like two or three day old curls it is perfect because I feel like the more texture you have in your hair the better this bun turns out and the quicker it is to do so this is like a go-to hairstyle for me Okay, so this last hairstyle is the Dutch braid ponytail. This is one of those hairstyles that like you took two minutes to do, but looks like you took a lot of time. So I just um, section off a little bit of 
hair, like a rectangular section at the side, and I just start Dutch braiding, that's all I do. I'm not going to go too much into this because I kind of explained how to do it in the beginning. You just literally do the same thing, only it's on a smaller bit of hair. And one thing I do though is I leave out the hair on top of my ear, just so that when I pull my hair back into a ponytail, my ear gets covered. And then once all the hair's braided, I'm just going to go ahead and um, start tugging at the braid to make it thicker. Obviously, depending on how um, thick your hair is, depends on how chunky you can get the braid. And then I just sort of tease the end of that, just because I don't have any clear elastic. So I'm just working around that. And then all I do is um, pull up the hair into a kind of, not a low ponytail, this is just like you know, right in the middle of the back of my head. And then I just tie it off and kind of pull on it to, you know, make it tighter and a little bit higher. And this is where I just go in and shape the front a little bit just so it's looking not as crazy, and that is it, you guys. Okay, so that is how I style my kind of shorter length hair, and also how I curl it. If you have enjoyed this video, as per usual, please give it a big thumbs up, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!